G'day guys, welcome to Yeah Now Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today we're going to do another mask video. Now I've been away sick for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks now. I came down with tonsillitis, funnily enough. And uh, I've got to say, that was, that was quite interesting. I'm actually still kind of recovering from it. But I do have my voice back today and I do really want to do a mask. This is a new mask to me. This is going to be the Yes to Coconuts Energizing Coffee Peel Mask. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. All right, well, if you're new to my channel, then you wouldn't know that I actually put up a poll a couple of weeks ago asking uh, which face mask I should actually feature in my next video and I ended up getting 50-50. It was between this one here and um, uh, a patchology mask, a glow mask, which I will actually do in my next video. So stay tuned for that. Anyone who is interested in that one, I haven't forgotten uh, now that I'm back on track and feeling just a little bit better. Um, but the reason why I chose this one first is because this is like a detoxifying mask. And because I've been so ill lately and I heard a rumor, I actually don't even know if it's a rumor, but I heard that, you know, when you're sick, you can have toxins in your body. Plus, I don't know about you, but I don't really look after myself properly when I am sick. I sort of just want to sleep. So I chose this one, although I am a little bit nervous. I've got to be honest with you. I don't typically use a peel mask. Um, I have dry, sensitive, uh, eczema prone skin and usually peel masks are a big no for me. So um, as I do say, I am your personal little guinea pig. I am going to try this out today. I probably should do a patch test, but I'm not going to because, you know, I'm just a sucker for pain and punishment. But anyway, I digress. I want to get into this bad boy by first uh, first talking about the mask a little bit, what they claim their claims are. But if you're not interested in that and you just want to see what the mask looks like on me, then I'll put a timestamp here. Um, you can always jump to the end of the video just to see what my personal opinion is of it. And generally, um, masks... I will have a reaction to it, um, oh sorry, if I'm going to have a reaction to it, I will have a reaction pretty much straight away. You'll be able to see it on camera, but if I don't uh, have a reaction to it straight away, um, because I won't actually do another mask or use any sort of new products on my skin for another two, you know, three days, um, I will usually leave it in the comments afterwards uh, if I haven't had a chance to actually add it to the video, if I had any adverse reactions a couple of days later. So first of all, I'm going to actually have a little look on the website and see what they claim because on the actual face mask itself, all it says is energizing coffee peel off mask. Yes to peeling away with the nasties with coconut and coffee to hydrate and get your skin going. So um, they do have a tool that you can use to apply this, but it's sold separately. I did not get that. So I guess we're using fingers today. Um, the instructions are pretty basic, smooth and, smooth and even layer over the skin, forehead, cheeks, nose, chin, avoiding the eye area, brows and hairline, uh, build up an edge around the mask, relax, wait 8 to 10 minutes, lift the edges and start peeling, rinse off any remaining pieces and then moisturize. So it's pretty basic, pretty easy to use, I hope. And um, hmm, let's see what the website says. Well, this is interesting, guys. Apparently, this is formulated for dry skin. Uh, it has 95% natural ingredients. It is cruelty-free, dermatologist-tested, vegan, and formulated without parabens, SLS, and silicones. So that is a good start. The mask, I don't actually recall how much I paid for this. I don't think it's expensive. I think it might be maybe 5 or $6. And its benefit is to hydrate and energize. Uh, I will put the price up on the screen here for you guys to see if I haven't already. Um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much already told us everything except for the fact that the application tool makes it easy and mess free. So I guess we're going to be making a little bit of mess today. But you know what, let's get into the uh, putting the mask on and see how we go and whether we love it or whether we don't. All right, first I'm going to make sure that we've got all the products down out of the way. Oh, it looks like a cream, guys. It's actually a white kind of cream. This is... I didn't expect that. I expected it to be, I don't know, like this brown sort of goop. That's interesting. That might actually make the um, application process a little bit easier. It is a little bit sticky. I've got my little mirror here, so please excuse me while we start to paste this on. Yeah, it feels like PVA glue, to be honest with you. Um, so we are going to get a little bit messy here. All right. This is not easy to actually get out of the packet, for starters. 
I do currently have some eczema on my forehead, so that could be very, very interesting. I'm not used to using these types of masks, I have to be honest. It is very, very difficult and I think it still would be very difficult even if we had that um, tool to apply it, just in the fact that it's in this um, leaflet style uh, packaging. So I think that maybe if they applied it in a pod or something like that, that it would be a lot easier uh, user friendly because this is quite difficult. I even tried to squidge it up um, and it works but it is quite interesting. I will tell you that right now I'm experiencing just a little bit of tingling of the skin which makes me nervous but I'm not completely um, worried yet. It smells interesting I must say. Um, it doesn't necessarily smell like coffee, it does smell like chemicals. I don't really like that. Put some on my chin here. Yeah, it's definitely very chemically, chem chemi chemically, chemi chemically <laughs> uh, smelling. I don't like that. I'm just going to be very careful on how much I use on this. I don't really want to put it anywhere except for those places, to be honest with you. Um, hmm. All right, I'm just going to try and build up the edges now like it is said. Oh, this is kind of gross. Build up the edges a little bit. It's not easy to do building up the edges. You know, we might leave it like that. I do have product left in the... Um, sachet but it is too hard to get out. Um, how am I feeling already? All right so we're what, maybe one minute into this uh, application so far and I'm definitely feeling heat. Um, so my cheeks right here are really really warm. Um, there is some warmth in my forehead here and I think we have some reddening sort of coming through there. Um, my chin is starting to get a little bit red um, so definitely, if you do have sensitive skin, do a patch test first. I have a feeling that this is going to have a reaction on me, um, which is okay. We will deal with that if that happens. I'm just having a look at the ingredients. First ingredients is uh, water, glycerin, ethyl, alcohol, mm, and something I'm not sure. Okay, so there's a lot of ingredients in this that I don't actually know what they are. Um, but look, the the stinging, burning, sort of warm feeling isn't too intolerable. Uh, I just need to watch this very carefully. So I am going to come back in, how long was it? In 8 to 10 minutes, if I can handle that, and see how we go, see if there's really a reaction, and, um, and if we can peel this off. Alright guys, it has been 10 minutes and most of it feels like it is dry. There's a few patches maybe like right here where I've just done it. It's a little bit thick that still feel a little bit tacky. Um, but you know what, we're going to go to the areas that are dry. Maybe just that extra couple of minutes or whatever, me gas bagging to you guys and taking it off. Um, we'll continue to allow that to dry just a little bit more. Now I will say that the burning, tingling, um, sensation, warm feeling... It's gone away, so I'm um, just looking in my little trusty mirror here. I can see that I do have a little bit of reddening still underneath my chin and on my forehead, but as it is kind of like a detoxifying mask, I was kind of expecting just a little bit of tingling and warmth. And tingling and warmth isn't necessarily a bad thing, it can be. Um, I do like to know that my products are working, um, it's just what happens to my skin afterwards. But to be honest with you, sometimes I could just rub a moisturizer on my face and my face will just go bright red. So um, redness ne isn't necessarily a sign of something bad that you're using, um, but it's just the duration, I guess. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is feeling quite tight. I am going to start off by removing, maybe I'll start removing the nose bit because that looks like it's the driest. I probably should have put it all over my nose and down the sides because it's the sides that for me that really are my problem areas but anyway I don't know for next time this was I would say probably the most difficult mask to put on 
um, that I've had in my collection over the past couple of years. So there is that as a downfall. I didn't like the application process. Um, but yeah, let's start getting this guy off. So I didn't really build it up on my nose. Maybe if I crunch it a little bit, I can start dragging it from the top. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's peeling off pretty all right. Nearly one piece. Ew. All right, so this, this took with it some blackheads that I didn't even know I actually had. Um, okay, all right. That came off nicely, it didn't hurt. I got a little bit of peel on the side here, but that wasn't really connected too much. So I'm not mad about that. Nose looks pretty all right. It's not damaged, that's a bonus. Let's go to the forehead now. Let's try and get it from the side. Yeah, it's lifting quite well. Now, I really should have dermaplaned before this, like got a little of all the micro hairs and everything like that, but in saying that, while I'm pulling this off, at least on the forehead and the nose, it is not hurting. So that is a definite bonus if you haven't dermaplaned or if you don't do it at all. And yep, that's grabby as well. And mind you, I've already washed my face today, so um, it's interesting to see uh, that it's still grubby and that it's been pulling stuff out of my skin. So I guess that's a plus, unless it's a chemical reaction to make it look like that it's actually doing something. I don't know. I don't know enough about skincare. All right, let's start on this side because this side here is the side that's just a little bit tacky. So we're going to, start. I might try and pull it from the side actually, get a bit going here. I didn't build it up as much as I probably should have, but we will make it work. Now, this is the area where it would hurt the most if it was going to hurt because of micro hairs, and it's not. So, one of the last masks that I use, I actually have a video of it way, way, way back when I first started YouTube. It was horrendous. I was in agony um, trying to get this black mask off. It was a charcoal mask. And it was the worst thing ever. And it was back then that I decided that I wasn't going to do peel masks anymore. But here I am. And this one, I've got to say, is nowhere near as bad as what that one was. Like, it's a little bit tingly. Yeah, it is grabbing onto those ow, little baby hairs. But nowhere near as bad as that one. Like, I was in a lot of pain with that one. This one's just a, you know, when you're plucking your eyebrows and one of them just twings a little bit and you're like, eh, but the rest of it's okay. That's what it's like. So, yeah. Not too bad. Even if you just put your put a little bit of pressure where it's going to peel. It's all coming up in one piece. I do like that. Yeah, so we do have a wet spot here, as you can see, where it's not lifting. Maybe I should have given that a few more minutes, but I'm not going to be too upset about that. It is coming off. Just a little bit goopy right there, see? All right, so use this just to scrub off a bit of that. Now I will go and... <laughs> I get a bit up nice. I will go and what does it say? Does it say to moisturize? Clean and moisturize. Hang on. Let's just have another quick look. Um, rinse off any remaining pieces and moisturize. All right. Well, I will definitely do that off camera. But before I go and rinse my face, um, because that might definitely bring out some reddening and everything like that, I just want to have a quick overall look. As you can see, I do have a little bit of reddening on my forehead, but that is nothing. Um, I would not class that as a bad reaction. Um, my face feels really cool. Like, kind of like I just had a sheet mask on, like a hydrating sheet mask. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I, like I said, I do have a little bit of reddening. Um, and they're definitely, like, it was grubby. The peel was definitely grubby, which is weird because I did a very thorough cleanse today. So obviously it did pull something out of the skin. Well, my overall thoughts on this mask is it isn't horrible. Um, I was nervous for a little minute there where my skin was warm and everything, but I uh, was trusting the process. As I said, I do recommend you guys do a patch test just in case. Now, I usually, if I do have reactions, they're pretty serious. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but then again, your skin might be completely different to mine. You might react to different things. Um, and I still might have an adverse reaction maybe 12 hours later or something like that. Like I said, I'll leave you guys um, a comment, a pinned comment below if I do have a later on uh, reaction after I turn off the camera. But, um, yeah, what can I say about this mask? I think that the application itself I don't like. I'm not... 
and that's a personal choice thing. That's not nothing against the mask, although I do believe that this would be better if it was in a tub form where you could scoop the product out. Uh, this is really inconvenient, so there's a down there. I, yeah, that knocks off a lot of points for me and would make me not want to repurchase this. It's just a pain in the ass to actually put on. Um, and I think that even if you had that scoop, still trying to separate the packaging, it's just, it's, no. Um, the application process, uh, it was a little bit sticky, it was a little bit difficult to go on, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Um, removing it was a breeze, you guys all saw that, that was pretty simple, uh, didn't hurt too much, definitely saw results on the mask. Um, the 8 to 10 minute means that it doesn't take too long. I do believe that this is affordable, so that's another uh, plus for me. Yeah, I don't hate it. Would I buy it again? I guess if I felt like my skin mm, did need a little bit of detoxifying or if it felt just a little bit, uh, but I am more into the hydrating style masks. Um, but I've got to give credit where credit is due. For, for a skin that is targeted at dry, for a mask that is targeted for dry skin, this one was pretty gentle. Um, I, I do have to say though, the scent, I'm not loving it. I, t I can't actually pinpoint what it is. Um, I can smell a little bit of coconut in there, but I can smell more chemical than anything else. I didn't really smell anything to do with coffee whatsoever. If it's in there, it's very subtle, um, which is a little bit disappointing for me. I would have loved to have been more coffee scented than uh, coconut, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. Uh, at the end of the day, the scent doesn't really matter unless the scent is what's causing the breakouts or the skin reactions. So yes, um, I think if you want to try this mask out, guys, go ahead. It's affordable um, and it wasn't a horrible experience. And I really do hope that you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, for those who were interested in the other mask that was up on the poll, I will be doing that one next. I've also picked up some new masks. I'm very excited about that, so stay tuned because we are going to have a lot more masks videos. But I do like to keep a week in between doing reviews on masks just in case something else happens as a result of the past mask and then I'll generally test it again to see if it was the mask. But anyway, I digress. Um, I do have a lot more mask videos coming up. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to catch me on social media, I'm predominantly on YouTube or over on Instagram. Um, my credentials will be on the page somewhere here. And if you're not a member of my family and you want to subscribe, don't forget to check the bell. Um, it'll keep you updated on the next videos that I bring out and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like the content that I'm putting out. Anyway guys, I really enjoyed your company and I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.